All right, guys, I am finally back after forever ago with our Redux tutorial. Um, I know it took a super long break, but reselect. So I want to talk about two main things, which is selectors and reselect. So I'm going to first cover selectors. So selectors aren't from any library. They are just small functions that take in our Redux store cherry pick which value, you know, what piece from the state we want. For example, up here like diamonds, right? We would make one selector for diamonds and then make another one for like names, which is what we're going to do. So the two main benefits of selectors, which is the main one is it, it centralizes our logic. So for example, say we had 50 components that needed our diamonds Right, so we make our map state to props, and for some reason, right, we want to change our name from diamonds to diamond, right? So we would have to, oh, I've changed. This. So right, we would have to change our, so it would break, right? Our fifty components would break, so we would change every single one, but we don't want to do that. So, you know, as geniuses, right, we're going to centralize that logic using selectors and the second benefit would be it cleans our component so from our which i've changed it here but we had our you know we we're mapping our names so instead of mapping our names here we can do that in our selectors so it just it looks it looks better our component uh, keeps the logic in our selectors. So I've already created the file. But to start this out with our selectors, our small functions, right here, I've created two. So these two, which I'm going to export them just to show. So right here, we have diamonds. This one takes diamonds. And this one grabs our items, our names. So we return the values. And so this is basically the gist of selectors, right? We have our selectors, we export them. Right here, I'll just have it right here. The S. So we import them. So how we do this is our map state to props that has this state. All we do is replace this with um, get diamonds and it takes state as the argument. For our second selector, which was get names, it does the same thing. We get state as the argument. So right here, it's going to pop up an error because I haven't. This is where we're, uh, you know, we're just showing names, right? Because we do all the logic in our selectors. But right now I'll get an error because I did that logic in our reselect. But if we were going to do it here, all it would return is item dot map. Take I. You know, like this, it would it would take it would return the values, but I'm I'm doing that in the reselect. So this would be if we didn't want to do it, if we just want to use selectors, this is how we do it. We would have it here, and it would display in the browser. But we're using um, normally with selectors, you would always see reselect because reselect what it does is. It memoizes our selectors. So if you're not familiar with what memoization is, basically what that means is that we are caching our value, our component re-renders. If those values didn't change, it's just going to return our previous value and it won't re-render. So that is the big benefit of our reselect it it memoizes our selectors so for example if we memoized our names right here if we memoized it so in our uh, minecraft component when we click the mine button 
you know, if we didn't memoize it, it would keep re-rendering our names array every time we click it. But we don't want that to happen. So once we memoize it, it won't re-render that because it'll know that, oh, names, that value hasn't changed. Okay, so I won't re-render. I'll just return the previous value, which doesn't count as a re-render. So that's what's so great about reselect. So I did it here. So I have it. And also you want to install reselect. So up here, npm install reselect. And once you've done that, you'll want to import it. Import, and what does all the magic is create selector function. So import that. So down here, so as a naming convention goes, for selectors, it's either to get or select, or maybe whatever your team uses, but I'm using get. So export const get, so I'm gonna remove the exports here. because we're not exporting these, we're passing them in into our create selectors. Because our create selector function, it takes two arguments. The first one is our selectors. So I just passed in one, right? I've created two selectors, one for our diamonds and one for our name. Reselect, the create selector only returns one value. So I'm returning get diamonds because there's a lot where you can do with create selectors. Just by looking at the documentation, you can see. But for now, all I want to do is memoize these two values. So I'm memoizing our get diamonds just by um, for the two arguments. So I have to pass in our selector, get diamonds. And then the second argument is a function. It's the transform function. This is what returns our value. So I put console logs to show you guys that once we uh, once we added this into our map state to props, when I click the button, when I increment the button, this console log should show, but the one here should not show. It shouldn't. So, because here is our get names reselect, right? First argument is our selector get names, which you could have multiple too, but we're not doing anything uh, crazy. So, I pass in get names. Also, the argument right here, you can name it anything. I just decide to name it the same thing as our selector. So, also, you can use functions or arrow functions for our selectors. I just chose arrow functions. So I returned get names.map and I got the name values uh, memoized. And I do this because if you did the map.map, .map, so this is also our hiding our uh, logic from our component. You can see um, how it works. We do it all here. And I don't do this mapping into our get names selector because it won't memoize if I do it that way. So if I do it in our create selector, it will memoize our values here. So remember that you have to do it um, in our create selector function, in our transform function. So once we've returned this, We want to go to our uh, Minecraft component. First off, change it. Let's get, get diamond, get name. Once we've done that, I'm gonna go down, change these values. So now that we have this done, so now you can see what, now I only have names. All right, because I've already done all the mapping in our selector, our reselect. So once I've done that, if we check uh, the browser, and it destroys our layout because I forgot the class name for our items right here. But, okay, ignoring this horrible layout, you can see that once we click this button, we're changing the state value of diamonds. Right, so if you look at the console log over here, you'll see that we have diamond output. 
and then name output called. But as soon as we click mine, the only thing being re-rendered is our diamond output because that's the value that's changing. Now that is possible because we memoized our names right here. That is why. So you can see how, oh, that's bright. You can see how helpful that is and the benefits. You know, if we wanted our application to scale, our state values get, you know, we, we have a lot of, uh, right here, in our initial states that we just have a lot of uh, properties. You know, it's going to get big. So that's what's great about memoization. And it really helped a good thing to learn. So that is the gist of selectors in uh, reselect. I would say though that this is totally overkill, as you guys probably know, um, for our small project, right? Obviously, but if we were, if we're thinking about really scaling this, then this could come in handy as our selectors, but we're not doing that. So that's just to keep in mind, you know, if you want to scale, that's what this is good for. So that is it guys. Uh, to end this series, I want to talk about Redux's hooks. That is the, you know, the new thing with Redux. So I will basically show you how easy it is to use Redux hooks um, for our refactoring our dispatch and uh, pulling our state from the store. We're going to use hooks to do that. And it's so much easier. And I will do that in the next video. And I will not disappear for a month. All right, that's facts. So I will see you guys next time. Peace.